Hell no, Irvine, fuck them old Randy Watson ass claps y'all just gave me right then. Oh, we don't know that nigga ass claps. I don't know y'all ass neither, shit. No, fuck that, I'ma turn around. And when I turn back around, y'all clap like y'all baby doing his Easter speech. There it is, goddammit. We made it, we in here. We grown folks. We persevered. I made it through 19 hours of traffic through this shit. Just to come kick with some grown folks. There's grown folks in the building. I see all these grown people in here. Didn't take a whole bath. Took a little whole ass wash off in the sink and shit. Tried to hurry up and get here before you got off work. Back of your knees still stank and shit, but the, you hit them hot spots though. You got to the important parts. What time is so? Eight o'clock, shit! Eight. How y'all doing over there? Hell yeah. Got them beers in your body, shit yeah. Finna party. White people turn up. Don't nobody turn up like white folks, goddamn me. Because you know why? They current on everything. Yeah, yeah, when you don't owe nobody shit, you don't owe no excuses neither. You just in this motherfucker drinking because it's Thursday and you can. We're going to get fucked up one sip at a time. Them my kind of white folks. Thank y'all for coming. Where the white women at that's by themselves and they drinking? I see you. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to you. Them the gangsters. Them the real fucking gangsters right there. Ain't nobody more gangster than a drunk ass white woman. White women don't give a fuck, she'll tell you. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck, so what? White woman come touch your hair. Oh my God, your hair is so beautiful. Her friends will be like, Amber, leave that man hair alone. I don't give a fuck, it's just hair. Don't give a fuck. White woman will pee outside. She'll give a fuck who's looking at her and shit. It could be a whole public bathroom next door to where she's standing. I don't give a fuck, I don't care. The fuck? Hold my phone. Hold it. You'll be standing in line just waiting and shit. White woman walk right past the line. Fuck your line. She don't care. You be trying to tell her, hey, we in line. I know. I just got one question. Just... <laughs> and we'll call the police on your ass quick in your face like a gangster. What? Get on the phone. Yeah, huh? No, I asked you what you were doing here. You wouldn't answer. I'm calling the cops. I don't give a fuck. I call the cops. I don't give a fuck. Hello? Yes. Yeah, it's, it's eight of them. Yes. I'm from the South. I'm from Texas, where shit is still how it's always been. So they was asking me, you know, you out here in California, it's all progressive. You going to date a white woman? I said, I might but she gotta be one specific kind of white woman. Can't be the old, I fuck niggas white woman with the, I got a black baby daddy hairstyle, you know, one of them. You know, got the little swoop in the front with the gold highlights and shit, it's all short in the back and shit. Little honey boo boo, everybody know what I'm talking about. The, I got three black baby daddies hairstyle. No, hell no, she got a neck tattoo and shit, mm mm. Not that kind of white woman, no. I need a white woman if I'm gonna date a white woman with a hard H. White woman, goddamn me. She gotta have a white ass name. Her name gotta be Jennifer Am Amber Ruthersford. Like, super fucking white, goddamn me. Her family gotta be Presbyterians. Super white, goddamn. I want a white woman so white, when she date me, her granddaddy roll over in his grave. I'm he in there like, I be goddamn a nigger of all people. I want your whole family ashamed of you, bitch. You can't never go back, goddamn me. I want your granddaddy to write you out the will, bitch. I want your mama not to invite you to Thanksgiving no more. You gonna have to learn how to braid her on the fly. Like, bitch, I got three cousins, they need cornrows. Get to work. Well, I can I YouTube it at least? Bitch, I want you white, white. White out white. Raisins and everything white. I need you white. If I'm gonna date a white woman. 
Because I can't be super woke like I am and just regularly date a white woman and she be all cool and shit. No, you know what I mean? The people I'm turning my back on. <laughs> Every single black woman in America, that's who. You get the universal mm-hmm when you get you a white woman. You could have been the nigga no black woman on earth would have dated. The moment you get a white woman, all the sisters be like, mm-hmm, look at that whole ass nigga over here. Look at his whole ass, just gonna get him a Becky. Like, bitch, I just shot at you last week at the club. You told me, hell no, lame ass nigga. I walked off. That's the world we in. Can't be shit no more. I spent my whole life growing, hey man, won't he do it like a good neighbor? White girl was there. with an ice cold beer. <laughs> Damn, that was good white people timing right then. She showed up just when the Lord had asked her. <laughs> she saw I was thirsty. <laughs> no, man, I, I wanted to be a grown man my whole fucking life. Grew up, got grown, found out being grown ain't worth shit. <laughs> it ain't shit being a grown man no more. Because these diabolical fashion industry people went out and switched up the whole grown man wardrobe. Now boys don't even dress grown no more. Now they got us wearing what I like to call little bitty bitch ass clothes. <laughs> Can we say it all together tonight, church? Little bitty bitch ass clothes. Amen. So if you have your Bible, let's turn to the book of Bridges. <laughs> Shall we? No, fellas, when did all of us agree that all the pants was gonna be tight? Super tight. Blood pressure tight, tight. Where you gotta wear your left ball on your left leg. You gotta wear your right ball on your right leg. Meat gotta ride side saddle. Cause ain't enough room in the front for your whole unit. Ladies know what I'm talking about. Y'all be seeing these fat coochie dudes walking around. Camel toe on fleek. Pussy big in his jeans. That's not vagina at all. That's balls all mushed up and bunched up in bitch ass britches. And I, for one, don't appreciate that shit. That ain't how my daddy raised me. Public service announcement, fellas. If the back of your shirt is longer than the front of your shirt, that's a blouse, cuz. I don't give a fuck what the people at the mall told you. That is a goddamn blouse, boy. These cats out here be dressing ambiguous as fuck in these streets. You got a whole blouse on, full booty bike, can't feel it because them pants and cut the circulation off in his legs. You got a Gucci purse slung over one shoulder and shit, red and gold tips on his dreadlocks, and I can't tell if that's a soft-ass dude or a hard-ass broad from behind. <laughs> so I got to get his attention, but be respectful because it's 2019. I'm like, uh, hey, excuse me, uh, hey, uh, Brewster. That, that's a brother and a sister. I'm on. A, a brister. Uh, your booty out. Y'all can take that home with y'all. Brister. That don't offend nobody. That's... Nah, that shit pissed me off though, man. LGBT community got all the comedians scared out here to make a joke. But then talking about y'all want equality and shit. Well, equality mean equality. You're going to get these equal jokes like everybody else. <laughs> it was funny when I was talking about the crippled dude and the blind lady. We all laughed at the ambiguous white woman. But now when it's the gay person turn, you're going to go on Twitter and shit and march and shit. <laughs> they almost fucked up Chick-fil-A for us. Y'all seen what they had almost did with Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A don't hurt nobody, bitch. Everything they do is they pleasure, goddamn me. Got mad because they said they didn't want sweet and sour sauce on Sundays. Now y'all gonna march and shit. Can't have every goddamn thing. Shit. I got into it with a gay girl at the club on accident. Because I like gay girls. I like them girls that like them girls that like some dick every now and then. My kind of girl. I be like, see, y'all doing all that wrestling? Shit, you gonna need a referee.
My thing is, it be the gay girls that hate dudes. Them the ones I don't understand. Oh, hard ass girl. I thought you didn't like dudes. How you gonna go get with a chick that do her best to be a nigga every day? That, <laughs> that shit don't add up at all. They be tough as fuck with the little old little, little. I call it the A my man. They, a my man. They, they all be snatching at what the fuck is you holding, bitch? A my man. You know, dribbling in that invisible basketball. With your point guard walking ass on some fucking way. Tough ass. And they all got big booties and shit be trying to hide them under them little boy clothes. Bitch, I see all that ass you over there trying to walk tucked in and shit. Big booty, big titty ass, bitch. I see you, you sexy under all them nigga clothes you got on. Fuck you looking at, bro? You, you bad bitch. Fine under there. Bitch told me I was gay for looking at her. That don't add up at all, uh-uh. I got dick, you got pussy, one plus one, bitch, how I'm gay, mm, mm I'm standing in front of the club, everything good. Y'all can see I'm lanky as hell. I have my hand on my hip chilling, listen to the music and shit. And I accidentally bumped her. Me being a grown man, I turned around, I apologized immediately. I said, uh, excuse me, lady dude, I ain't see you right there. <laughs> My bad. Turn right back around and shit behind me, she gonna start beatboxing this shit. She in the I'm like, yeah, she, she finna kick a cold ass freestyle. Or we might got ourselves an issue. So I turned around, I say, uh, what seemed to be the issue, Bristol? I had said I'm sorry. She gonna answer me back with a little 13 year old little boy voice. Hey, my nigga. Fuck it's your problem, my nigga. I was like, I ain't got no problem. I ain't got no problem at all. She was, yeah, you got a problem. Fuck it's your problem. I was like, well, I wasn't gonna speak on it, but since you brought it up, <laughs> I just don't appreciate the fact you got in free tonight on ladies night, little lady dude. <laughs> no, hell no, no, cause you got on nigga shoes and nigga pants and a nigga shirt. I feel like you should have paid ten dollars like the rest of us niggas did. <laughs> You abusing the system, and you know you are, lady dude. That's all. That's all. That's my only problem. She was like, yeah, 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 I probably should pay. Because I'm more of a man than you any day. And I was like, girl, shut up. More of a man than me? Shit, I know I got you beat by at least a week, baby. What are you talking about? I know one week out of every month, I'm way more of a man than your ass, bitch. What do you mean? I can see a little hard ass at the house. Going with the bullshit, your boy cramping today. <laughs> Nigga, nipples all hard, why don't you go get your boy a my doll or something and shut up. So I walked off, cause I thought that was clever as fuck. I thought I had won the argument. Behind me, she gonna yell out, Nigga, you just mad cause my dick bigger than yours. And I had to think about it. She might be right, goddamn me. They doing some devilish shit over there in the robotic dick industry, my nigga. These mechanical mandingos they coming up with is doing shit human dick can't even hope to grow up to be. They are destroying our self-esteem one set of D batteries at a time, brother. These diabolical bitches laying right next to your ass in the bed with some shit your dick can't never hope to get up to be. Plug his ass up and fuck you right in front of your face. They don't give a fuck. This bitch will give herself carpal tunnel beating herself up. Look you in your eye while she fuck herself. Then they have little old fucked up functions. Old toy party is what they call it shit. That sounds so innocent and jovial. You get over there, they got finger sandwiches and sherbet and ginger ale and on the coffee table they got a dictionary of dingaling with all kind of prototypes around the room and shit. And your wholesome ass old lady, look at her in her face right now, look at her. No, don't look at me, look at her. Look at that diabolical motherfucker you got living at your house right now. 
who got a Robo Stroke 3000 right in the nightstand. Like your ass ain't got to get up and go to work in the morning and shit. Like you ain't got no football injury and high blood pressure and shit. And why they can't never hold their legs up when we fucking them, but when they fucking them, they be in that whole Cirque du Soleil and shit. <laughs> Robot dick got shit human dick don't even come with. Got a doodad at the top and a little thing at the bottom and shit. So even if you had a long navel and big balls and was an ex breakdancer and could vibrate your fucking self in place, you still ain't got shit on the robo stroke because the head go around and around and around. Look at all these nasty ass women like, how did he know? Because they got the new shit on a remote start USB plug and shit. Pandora radio with Beyonce already programmed on the bitch. Got light and lasers and shit, so it throw a little light show on the ceiling. Dick got a transmission on it. Three speed, four speed, five speed. Real niggas ain't even got but two speeds. We got just got in there and showing out. That's all, that's all the fuck we got. Diabolical bitches we be living with. Game ain't even fair. Sex ain't even fair. It's an epidemic going on in these streets. They got us out here eating booty, huh? Yeah, yeah. Now don't hold your head down. You too, nigga. I see you. Yeah, look at that nigga holding his face in shame and shit. God damn. And I really want to talk to the brothers about that shit. What's wrong with you niggas? Ass eating was reserved for white boys and Mexicans on the cocaine. That wasn't even for us. God gave everybody a whole bunch of good shit. He gave us big dicks, no credit. White boys, all the credit, no dick. Mexicans, no, no nothing, no license, no insurance. But they got all the drugs, though. They got all the drugs. Because God is fair. He give everybody a little bit. Look at all the Mexicans mad because I called them out about the drugs. But between you and me, yo queda la muta we. We can talk about it outside. After the show, we can talk about it. Tripped me out though. My partner sent me a text message. He was like, newsflash. We eat booty now. I was like, we? We who? All of us. All of us. It's mandatory or some shit. Like, yeah, all of us. We eat booty. Get with the program. They got women out here that like that shit and won't even say it out loud. Watch this, I'm gonna take a poll. How many of you nasty ass women like your booty ain't? You see that? Silence, sniggling and giggling. You see that shit? Cause they all got that little disclaimer. I ain't gonna say I like it, but if he do it, the bitch ain't gonna stop him. I'm not gonna stop him with no shit like that. He wanted to do that. That was him all by himself. Like you ate her ass on purpose. Like you had your eyes open or some shit. Everybody that ate ass always eat ass on accident. And what she was supposed to do was be a respectable person and warn you that you had hit the danger zone. She supposed to be like that old slave standing right on the Mason-Dixon line. As soon as you got to the ass, she supposed to be like, Sir, sir, I say you ain't going too far down south, sir. You gonna have to come up north, sir. It ain't safe for you down there, sir. No, hell no, what she do? Uh, okay, all right, all right. Let me find out then. Then got right on the phone and told it on your ass. And women speak in code when they talk to each other. They have a full conversation. All you hear is one English word, bitch. But that shit got 35 different meanings. That's why as a man, when you call him a bitch, they don't know which 35 of them bitches you just called them, so the default setting is disrespect. <laughs> Who the fuck you call a bitch? Nigga, your mama a bitch. <laughs> be sitting there talking to your girl, just chilling, watching TV. All of a sudden her phone went, go best friend, that's my best friend, that's my best friend. 
She just paused the shit. Hold on, babe, let me see what she want. Hello? Bitch. Hold on, let me go outside. Hold on, wait. She jump up, grab all the covers and everything and walk the fuck out. I'll be right back, babe. I'll be right back. She go get in the back, back patio hall closet and shit. Okay, go. <laughs> Bitch, uh-uh, you lying. Bitch, what? Bitch, I'ma call you back. I love you, girl. And all y'all heard was four bitches. Conversation went, girl, Charles just ate this ass. Uh-uh, bitch, you lying. Girl, he ate my whole booty. Not half of it, the whole booty. What, what did you say to him? I said, baby, you know what to really get my pussy wet? And his dumb ass said, what, what you want me to do? I'll do it right now. We'll get your pussy wet, I'll do it right now for you. Sold us a bill of goods. They keep trying to get that shit cute ass names. Eat these groceries. <laughs> Bitch, my grandmama make groceries, ho. I remember back in the 2000s, they used to call it tossing salad. Y'all remember that? See how they keep trying to make it sound healthy for you? <laughs> it's 2019, dudes eating ass and women ain't even proud dick suckers yet. Look how quiet it got again. You see that? You see that? I put dig and suck right next to each other in the same sentence. They was like, ha! Mm -mm, mm -mm. Had a woman tell me with a straight face, I don't suck dick, boo-boo. I said, well, why not, boo-boo? She said, because my mama didn't raise me to suck dick. I lost it. Bitch, who mama out here raising them? <laughs> bitch, who mama raised them to suck dick, bitch? They would take you from your mama if she was out here raising you to suck dick. Bitch, your mama had you in extracurricular activity, vacation, Bible school and shit. She did everything she could to keep dick out your mouth. How dare you blame your lack of dick sucking on your mama's goodness. I don't know how y'all do shit out here in Irvine, but I ain't never been nowhere and somebody mama come on the stoop like, Teresa, yeah, you come on in here and wash these dishes and when you get done, <laughs> oh, it's time for dick sucking rehearsal. Now nah, don't all mama me, I don't wanna hear that shit cause come to think of it, you're falling below the curve and ain't no daughter of mine gonna be no mediocre dick sucker. <laughs> now relax your jaws and get on these balls. That's what you <laughs> That is not how your mama raised you at all. Dick sucking is on the job training. You pick that shit up on your own. <laughs> Point I'm trying to make is, uh, I do churches and uh, clean shows, so. <laughs> Bullshit. I had fun coming out here to LA. It was an experience. Corey like, yeah, come on out here, do the show. I'm gonna fly you out, I'm gonna take care of you. Nigga flew me out on Spirit. <laughs> yeah, why y'all ain't tell me? Why y'all ain't tell me, nigga? Shit, my boy, if you ain't never flew Spirit, nigga, let me, let me put it in terms you can understand. Um, Spirit Airlines is the Greyhound of the sky, nigga, that is. That is a bus with wings on it, my nigga, that is, that is the bullshit, basically, is what I'm trying to tell you. And they hit you with that little whole ass hustle. We'll take you wherever you wanna go for $9.99. I'm sitting at the counter like, $9.99, $9.99, we got you. We'll take you where you wanna go. I'm like, I gotta go all the way to LA, bitch. I'm in Dallas, Texas, bitch. $9.99, she's like, give us 10. See when we give you back a penny. $9.99. I'm like, well, fuck it. Book the ticket then, bitch. She was like, okay. She handed me my boarding pass, looked over the counter, saw I had a bag. She was like, oh, you got a bag? <laughs> hey, y'all, he got a bag. Bitch, <laughs> shoulders were jumping and shit on. The fuck is so funny, bitch? Who travel without luggage? Yes, I got a bag. She was like, oh, well, see, your ticket is $9.99. But that bag, that bag, $99.99. I'm like, $99.99? Bitch, $99.99. Bitch, you ain't got to close your eyes and drop your jaw. 
I tell you what, you diabolical bitch. I got another 9.99. Give me a seat for my bag. That's what you do. Yeah, bitch, he can ride in the middle. He don't need no armrest. He ain't going to the bathroom or nothing. 99.99, bitch. I don't even like flying. The only people that like to fly is people that don't go nowhere that much. Yeah, you don't go nowhere but once or twice a year and shit. They be all eating pretzels, looking at the TV and shit, drinking coffee, all lost and shit. People that travel all the time, we don't appreciate that shit. Gotta go through the old penitentiary intake ass process they put you in. I done had my freedom took before. I know what it's like when you're going into general population and shit. You walk in, he snatch your ID out your goddamn hand. Take your glasses off. This better be you. <laughs> go on over there and line up. You go over there and line up. Here come the TSA nigga all bold and fuck loud and shit. Take everything out your pockets right now. <laughs> Laptop better be in its own goddamn bucket. It better not be shit in your pockets right goddamn now. And take your fucking shoes off. Now you gotta walk your clean ass socks across this nasty ass flow and get off in the jumping jack machine. Look at all the niggas that don't travel. They tell me, what the fuck is a jumping jack machine? Cause what's a jumping jack machine? What's a jumping jack machine, y'all? Then that shit go whoom real fucking fast. And you don't know whether they gave you cancer or cured it. You can... I get to the motherfucking Spirit Airline and shit. Court talking about, yeah, you got a first class flight. <laughs> See, these niggas fly Spirit. They understood that joke. Uh, ain't no first class on, on Spirit. It's, it's first come, first serve, nigga. Nigga had me riding first coach in that month. I'm head coach in that bitch. I knew I had put my life in the wrong people's hands because as I got on the plane, they closed the door and locked it with a house key. I said, ah, shit. <laughs> Hell no, nigga. I got right on the phone with God. Ooh, Jesus. I know you don't recognize this number. But this your boy Black Run, and I sure could use you on this spirit flight this morning. God. Nigga, I ain't been to church in over 10 years. I dug up scriptures I ain't even know I remember. You said in your word in Deuteronomy 17 and 9 that if I call on you when I need you, there you will be in the mist. Well, it is misty as fuck <laughs> on this plane, dear Jesus. And I don't need you to tarry, cuz get your ass up here. <laughs> Nigga, I got my super woke ass on the plane. We had a black pilot. I got proud immediately. Hell yeah, shit yeah, we got a black pile in there. I'm humming and shit, we shall over. Mm -hmm. And then this nigga got on the damn intercom and embarrassed all of us. You know, normally the pilot be like, uh, good afternoon, this is your captain speaking. No, not this nigga here. He got on the intercom talking about, uh, Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. You already know who it is. It's your boy, Captain Larry. I got right back on the phone. Oh, Jesus, Captain Larry gonna kill us! Man, them all the jokes they paid for. So, uh... <laughs> 